Hey, scoot over. Scoot over and don't climb up my back with those shark claws, please. Oh, hey everybody, I just wanted to jump on here real quick. Hold for the lightning, I mean thunder. I just wanted to jump on here real quick. I'm Kay here on the homestead. And if you are anywhere in the Midwest, you need to be heads up looking at the weather. St. Louis got something like a foot of rain. I don't know the statistics, but I know a lot of you follow Ryan Hall on YouTube. And he went over all that. I just looked at it briefly before I was just going to, you know, get everything situated for another storm. And uh, there's a knock on my window, my back window. Nobody comes back there, but one person, one person does that. And it's, it's the guy that cut my trees and that brought me the wood chips. Donald brought my third load of wood chips. And I'll give you a look over there. I thought to myself, I even think I even said it to my helper this morning, I need to text him and tell him not to come today because we had not managed to get all the wood chips off of the uh, V beside the driveway up here where he dropped them last time. And I told him when he comes back in a week, I'll have that gone. Well, my helper uh, couldn't make it this past week and his son helped me out. Uh, but we we just you know it's a lot of wood chips in a, in a whole dump trailer load so I only had about half of it gone so he couldn't dump there he's banging on my lightning he's banging on my back window and I'm going on my... anyway I quickly got dressed and I ran out and his truck was already like kind of there uh, where you know so there's not a lot of room for one of those massive pickup trucks and a, a long dump trailer up here it's really tough to navigate that he did it before but today I had I didn't have all the wood chips gone so and he had dumped his uh, racks you know the treads that you drive up uh, you drive up a mower or something, you drive up that into the dump trailer. I don't know. Anyway, those had slipped out in the second load that he dropped here, and they were buried under all that. So it's here comes the storm, and it's rolling over that hill, and I'm just going, oh my gosh, I, mean, I, I, can't, I, I can't believe we're doing this like right, right now. I, it's not like I love being out, you know, outside when it's lightning and thundering. And so... He had to get those, he needed them, so, I mean, he's a, he's a go-getter, that's all I can say. He, uh, I said, well, listen, okay, you can't, we can't move these wood chips, you can't dump here, uh, dump a little bit down the driveway. Well, when he tried to do that, a third of the wood chips, at least a third of the wood chips were in the driveway, and it was four feet tall. And I'm going, oh my gosh, okay, you get the, you get the, the racks, I can't think what you call ramps, ramps. You get the ramps and I will, um, I'll start the pitchfork. <laughs> I'm wearing out after about five minutes, you know, and I haven't made a dent. And so he, he somehow he gets all that done and he gets turned around. I didn't even want to look, you know, because I got stuff sitting out there, plants and wood and, oh, I didn't even want to look. But somehow he, he managed to get that thing turned around heading back down, facing down the hill with the truck. He said, I can drive over that, I got a four wheel drive. So he drove over a three foot mound of wood chips. And I noticed the front tire wasn't moving at all. It was it was in the same position, it was sliding. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know, I guess it's not four wheel. I guess he didn't have it in four wheel because the wheel would have been rolling, right? I don't know. Anyway, oh my gosh, you guys. So, what are you going to do with a foot of rain? I mean, Illinois is getting dumped on. Illinois is 
the, a, a, lot, a large part of Illinois is the Mississippi River floodplain, which is why the soil is so good, uh, you know, because the, the river overflows, it leaves the sediment, the minerals, and all that from, from the river. And, uh, you know, so that's where we have our really great farmland. However, this is July. This could ruin crops, not to mention bring traffic to a standstill in St. Louis and, and, and surrounding areas. But what Ryan says is it's not over. This thing is going to last for a while. And, you know, I, I thought, you saw my last video. I thought, okay, I got through that. The side garden is pretty much of a wash. I mean, I'll get a few sweet potatoes out of that, maybe some climbing uh, lima beans over there, but I'm not holding my breath for anything else over there. But down there, because I got my helper in here and we, after that first big flood, we uh, tilled and planted a bunch of stuff and put in rows and a lot of people have been saying, hey, put in berms and swales. Well, basically that's what I'm doing. I'm putting in breaks, I'm putting in mounds as a break so everything just doesn't wash down like it did before you know before we had it planted so now that that entire thing is planted in fact um my helper son this morning he helped me plant just some things i got all of the little plants the seedlings that have been sitting out here the entire spring and summer they've been sitting out here waiting waiting for a chance like a pet at a at a at a, a pound, you know, waiting for, you know, a, a new a, a new human to come and pick them up. They got a place to go into the garden, and I thought, okay, it was 50% chance of rain today, and I, I hadn't looked at this Ryan Hall video, and this morning, uh, well, I don't think it was out this morning, and so I thought, okay, a nice gentle rain, it'll rain those those tender plants in down there, and now we have this massive storm storm front. In fact, uh, I just got a weather alert, you know, just a little while ago. So anyway, you guys, I mean, the weather has been manipulated. I know this is controversial. I know some people don't believe it, but the weather has been manipulated since Vietnam. Vietnam, <laughs> which is before many of, of, of you may be watching were born. Uh, they, they were doing things to affect the weather way back then. They're much more sophisticated now. So I don't know what this is, this, this massive front that's just dumping on the Midwest where all of our farmland is. I don't know if this is related to all of the, these plants that have burned, train derailments of fertilizer and, and uh, all these shortages. I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, like I said in my last video, I don't have answers. I have a lot of questions. I don't have answers. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. Look at the weather. See where you're located. And what's, what's absolutely wacko is that all the rain is here. I mean, I have heard from people all over the country around the Midwest saying it's dry. People, people in the, the Northeast saying they've been in a drought. Of course, people out West people up, in, up north, I mean, California's on fire again. I mean, what is going on? <laughs> you know, it's just, like I said, extreme weather events. Watch out for those. I just wanted to give you a heads up. I hope you have a blessed day. Keep your eye on the weather. Secure your gardens. This is when a greenhouse would really come in handy. So God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video. Actually, it's kind of hard to see, but first I have the second load and this is the cedar chips and then that's the next load at which goes across the driveway this my pretty girl he's a pretty girl it's a pretty girl he's so pretty okay gotta go wash off the poison ivy They're just hanging out on the porch with me. Spot. Spot. Okay, it looks like some of the ones I planted this morning are going like that. And the problem is that's not, the electric is not on. 
so I really don't want to go down there in the rain.